Okay, quick installation guide for the millstone fountain because we do get a few questions in relation to this one. When we supply this particular stone, we don't provide a metal grid for it. The reason for that is because the weight of the stone transfers straight through to the weight on the sump below. So uh, this is what takes the weight of the stone. So it doesn't need a metal grid for this one because it's larger than the, uh, the catch area below. But just to go through some of the components that are a great way to get it installed in your garden, uh, we'll supply you basically a it's a lid for your sump uh, effectively that goes on there we'll cover that in a bit more detail in just one second this is the area where you sink this into the ground and this is where your pump is stored so this is the reservoir now what we've done to make it a bit easier and uh, we would recommend this at home we have heightened the length that we would normally do it but you can just get a couple of support bricks underneath your millstone when you're doing the installation it does make it a lot easier uh, it gives you the area to work in because otherwise you're trying to keep this stone lifted in the air with one hand while working with the components below so get a couple of supports bricks on their end are great because they give you that right height but for this we've just used some wood because it gives us a bit more height for the video so what you want to do you want to get the pump that we've supplied get that fit situated in the reservoir obviously inside there then what we also want to do this is the center support now in a lot of our photography you'll see on the website you'll see that the millstone is raised above the ground this is optional we don't supply this but it does allow you to have a great visual with the stone so when it's installed and you've got your pebbles or your shingles around it this keeps the stone elevated gives you this nice sort of drop off with the water cascading off the stone rather than it's sitting directly on the ground but it's just personal preference but if you wanted one of those we've just got an off cut of uh, four by four waste tube you could pretty much use what you want you can continue to use some bricks on their end as well if you wanted to just to give it a little bit a little bit of height but it is an optional thing as i say we don't um, we don't supply this or include it in any of our packages but our photography work does include it. it just gives you that idea for how the stone can be presented so what you want to do is you want to get your pipe and your led tube get that situated through the millstone <laughs> That allows you to, uh, this is obviously where the water comes out. Then what you want to do, if you're going to be using something similar to us, you want to feed your tube through this first so that when everything's in situation, that's how it's going to be. And then what you want to do, a bit tricky this bit, you ultimately get the lid for your reservoir, feed the connecting cable through it. And as you can see, now you're starting to see the advantage of having the stone on some bricks or support because otherwise you'd be trying to do this with the stone on top of you. Once you've got your pipe work through your uh, lid for your reservoir, you want to get your pump, get your connectors done so you get your tube fitted to the end of your pump, just like that. Get your light module fitted to the connector on the pump so that that gives you the light in the fountain. Then you can situate these below your millstone. Put your lid back on your reservoir, make sure your cable's free and going to uh, come out one of the little uh, recirculation points on the reservoir obviously this isn't sunk into the ground just for demonstration purposes but i'm sure you get the idea when this is in the garden and now this all center locates up now what you can do is ultimately you can lower down the millstone take it off the supports i'll just quickly do that with my colleague and um and we'll show you what it's like okay so we've taken our supports out now that we were using just for the installation purpose so me and a colleague i recommend getting a second person in we've just lifted the stone down now so as you can see as the camera pans down We've got the millstone, it's situated on top of our centre support there. What we would normally do now is get some stones and shingles around here. The water cascades off, drips back down. Now you can kind of understand why we don't supply a metal tray with this particular feature. The water comes off, it catches in the drip tray and then recirculates back under. As you can see, the tray is more than capable of taking the weight of the stone. If you didn't have this particular part here and the stone was just situated on top of the reservoir, then the water can still recirculate back at these recirculation points. I think we'll just catch that in camera. And then that goes back into the center area for the pump to recirculate the water back around again. So again, it's optional. We've just situated it like this. Obviously it is not as steady because we have got it sort of floating in the air at the moment. But obviously once this is sunk into the ground, you've got your stone and shingle around it. It's going to give it more support. And obviously that's how you have it finally installed in the garden.